Water and sun are not all that's required for a successful harvest. The Mofu now have to invoke the spirit of the mountains, the Embolo, to ensure that the millet grows abundantly and becomes fully ripe. The highest rocks of the mountains symbolize the power of the spirit. Before them, the Mofu are like ants in front of a tree, so small. O oh, spirit of the rocks, protect the people of the mountains. Let the stalk of this sacred plant climb to your heights. Give it your strength so that this year, finally, the harvests will be good. On Mazangel Rock, the sacrificer tears off part of the mountain's spirit from the monolith three times. This gesture symbolizes its sacred union with the people. He then distributes a share of the spirit to those accompanying him, the village ambassadors. Then finally, he sends the prayers of the entire people to the rock. Will the mountain hear the Mofu's prayers? Nothing could be less certain. The harvests have been disappointing for several years. in the village are almost empty, and the termites in Sidi's home are making the situation even worse, because they're now threatening the last supplies of millet. It's time for old Mats Grawai to check whether the Jaglavak ant has answered his plea. <laughs> the termites are still here. Jaglavak didn't come. It did not hear our prayers. We will have to go get it. I've had it with these termites. They have to go. The termite mounds are growing. We can't wait much longer. Lirba doesn't have the right to bother me so much. Did it help me build this house? Do you know how much money I spent for wood and straw to repair what it destroyed? I don't like it. It has to leave. Don't get angry. This is not its house. Don't worry. We will go find Jaglabak. Now that it has rained, it's easy. We will bring it back here and it will drive these termites out. Idrisu, I need you to find the Jaglavak ant. During the dry season, it's unusual to see it, but during the rainy season, they often come out to hunt in the fields. If you run into it, be very careful because it's a ferocious animal. Only the prayer we say to it makes it harmless. Without this prayer, all the Jaglavaks would come out of the ground and climb all over you. How can an ant be so dangerous? Jaglavak is powerful because of its numbers and its cunning. It is pitiless and never gives up. Some people have even seen it devour a lion. To defeat a large prey, it attacks by surprise. It goes in through the nostrils and the mouth and down as far as the entrails, where it eats the animal from the inside out. The creature can't defend itself because the danger is invisible. That's why Jaglavak is the prince of the insects. Jaglavak is able to understand men. Look for it in holes and under stones. If you find it, don't touch it. Come tell me quickly. Do you understand? At this time of year, the mountains are filled with grasshoppers, praying mantis, crickets, coleoptera, all insects that flourish during the rainy season. And the children love these small prey that are added to their daily meal. But the insect hunt today will be special because they also have to look for the powerful Jaglavak, the Red Prince. 
Insects are part of every aspect of life among the Mofu, whether they serve a spiritual, domestic, agricultural, or simply playful function. Here, men project their own behavior onto the insects living in society, like the ants and the termites. Former warriors during the great Peul invasions, they view these troops of army ants as ideal fighters. According to legends, in its nest, Jaglavak guarded the war stone from which it drew its power. The person who found Jaglavak's stone would make the army of his village invincible. With this stone, each warrior became as red as the ant and a hundred times stronger. The enemies fled in terror. But for the time being, Jaglavak can't be found, and the children have to keep looking, much more interested in their hunt for goodies and much more successful. The children eat different types of insects depending on the seasons, and they learn very early on to distinguish between edible and toxic insects. The children have caught lots of insects, but there's no sign of Jaglavak 